plastic fiber optic cable can be used to produce tiny and intricate illumination effects on small gauge models. The fiber has the unique ability to efficiently transmit light from one end to the other, even if it is bent and twisted. This means that a light effect can be placed within a model whilst the actual illumination source is remote. A good choice of illumination is a white LED. These run cool, are very efficient compared to incandescent lights and have a very long lifetime, in excess of six years continuous operation. Because they run cool, they will not melt plastic models. They are also not stressed by turning on and off. The fibre can be cut with a scalpel and this will produce an optical finish that is good enough for most purposes. To improve light transmission, the ends can be polished with wet and dry paper and finally polished against a hard flat surface with optical rouge. Toothpaste can be used instead of rouge. Coupling fibre optic cables to LEDs can be achieved by wrapping with self-adhesive tape or using heat shrink tubing. It is important to align the fibres with the LED lens. Many fibres can be fed by one LED and this can reduce cost and size and improve efficiency. It is important when using heat shrink tubing not to overheat the fibres because this will reduce the amount of light that passes through. The heat shrink tube will be soft after heating and can be held in the required position until it hardens. If you are not confident with this technique, then tape is a good alternative. Once bundled together, the combined ends can be trimmed with a scalpel and then finely polished. Tiny lights can be made by passing the fibre through models. Here an N-gauge car is fitted with two fibres. The fibres have been passed through the base plate and the illuminating LED is hidden there. The colour can be changed by transparent coloured gels. Here a fireplace has two small pieces of gel placed over the fibre end. A strip light effect can be produced by scraping the fibre with a piece of wet and dry paper. This causes the light to escape from the fibre. The fibre can be bent to a small radius, but too tight a bend will cause the light to escape. This effect can be put to use by making a series of tight bends to produce a zigzag strip light. This small 144 scale diorama demonstrates how one LED can drive two car headlights and two fireplaces simultaneously. Plastic fiber optic cables are truly adaptive and are a fascinating method of illuminating small scale models. Fiber optic cable and white LEDs can be purchased from Branner Systems at www.branner.co.uk right slash products dot htm. Let there be light.